Hello everyone, it's Masunga John here and today I'm going to make a goosey and today's a goosey is going to be mutton shank, mutton shank, a goosey and chicken, mutton and chicken and dry fish, a goosey. I know I've made before in my videos a goosey but it was different. This time I'm going to make it a different way. So here are the ingredients. This is the meat, uh, mutton shank and chicken boiled already with together with onions and some uh, maggi cubes and pepper. And here is the dry fish and I, I have put it I mean, in, in hot water to become soft. Here is the goosey itself, uh, which is a melon soup. And here, uh, onions, uh, peppers, both uh, green peppers and red peppers, and uh, purple onions. And uh, I'm gonna use uh, some chicken cubes, because I have already uh, put chicken cubes in a uh, muggy cubes uh, in the meat and boiled it. And here is salt and oil. And we are going to use bitter leaves and spinach. So I'm going to start making the egusi now. Alright, so the first step I'm going to blend. Blend uh, the onions and the green peppers and tomatoes the onions the peppers yes onions and peppers first and then add tomatoes add tomatoes And blend together again. Next is ready. It's time to start making. Fry onions. And then add the mixture of the onions and uh, the, green, the peppers and tomatoes and fry it cover it so that it doesn't uh, spill out Then after frying it, add the melon soup, like this. like this then cover it and fry for a few minutes then open it and check mix it it looks good already open and check it If it has fried enough. All right, so next add the meat. The meat is nice, tender, and tastes good. Okay, the meat looks good. 
mutton shank and chicken okay mix the meat all right it looks good and then the fish it's washed already so I'm gonna just drain the water all right here is the fish dry fish so I'll add it there all right mix together with the meat then I'll cover it and prepare the bitter leaves and the spinach so it's boiling already so I'm gonna open it and add the chicken cube and check for the test before I add the other ingredients as you can see the bitter leaves is here already prepared and the spinach is there already prepared so I'll mix it then check the test all right it's good so next i will add the bitter leaves so i have add the bitter leaves over there and i'll mix it a little mm, it looks good then I will add the spinach. Add the spinach and cover it for a few minutes. All right, so we will check to see if the uh, egusi is ready. Oh, it looks good. Looks awesome. Ooh. okay the mixture looks good inside there everything looks perfect all right the fish i mean the fish the chicken and the mutton shank looks good in there so it's time for me to eat you can see all right Okay, it's time for me to test my egusi. I made egusi today. Wow, wow. All right, I'm gonna eat egusi now. Okay, how does, let me take some mutton shank here. Mm. Wow. I made something great today. Wow, you can't believe it. It's really, really, really yummy. Okay. I will show you again how it looks. Perfect. Right? All right, so, um, as always, it's me, Masunga John, and today I made a goosey, but in a different way. I fried it and I used chicken, hot chicken, uh, mutton shank, and dry fish, uh, spinach, and bitter leaves, and it's awesome. So, after watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. It's Masunga John, right? Remember, Egusi is from the west, I'm from the east, but I love Africa. Africa is one. Subscribe to my channel. Masunga John. Goodbye for today. Jane. Palam. Kwaheri.